How's it going guys? I'm just here at the barber shop. I just got the black car all fired up. Just brought it outside to warm up and everything. So let's let this bitch warm up and then I'm gonna start on the other cars. I'll give you guys a shot of the lights all lit up finally and I'll I'm just gonna get started on this car here, so uh, I'm just gonna be working on the fuel cell today. I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday, so uh, just the pieces of pipe I have there, so, uh, some square tube. Yeah, so I'm gonna be, uh, I just basically have to make another one of these little U brackets that hang down at the bottom for uh, this side here. I made this one like a month ago and then uh, ended up getting that other car, so I kind of gave up on it for a bit, so. Just finish that off and I should be able to get the fuel cell mounted up, so let uh, get started on that. Yeah, hey, check this out. I just picked this up. It's a little mini tripod. I figure I can uh, put it underneath the car and stuff while I'm doing work. Alright guys, so I got this all uh, set up on my tripod there and everything. I'm gonna, just got that piece of steel marked out, so I'm gonna just cut it to uh, see how it turns out. <laughs> Alright, so I got those pieces all cut and they're good to go. So I just have to uh, cut two little square tabs here for this little tray I made. This is the bottom tray. Uh, this is what the fuel cell sits into, and then it has those tabs on the side that are going to bolt to that little frame I welded in the back of the car. So I just have to cut two square tabs, weld them on there, and drill some holes. Drill some holes in that and then I can tack it all together. So just hold on for that. Alright, so I got those little square tabs cut. I'm just about to uh, tack them in place there. So once they're in place, I can uh, drill the holes through them, drill the holes through the other ones, and uh, start welding it all together. Alright, so I got this all set up on the tripod again. I'm just going to tack these two in place here. So just hold on a second. Should be good now. I can now uh, just fill it in with welds. So Let's hold on for that. All right, should be good now. Sad to fix that. It moved a little bit when it got tacked. Alright guys, so I got that all welded up, so I don't know if you can see that, I'll try to zoom in. Yeah, it's not that bad I guess, so should hold, now I can drill some holes in there and uh, holes in that thing and then I'm good to go. Alright guys, so I got it all set up here on the drill press and I'm just going to get her going. Just got to get her into position.
over the other side. Big that's not right. That's down. Alright, so I got the holes all marked out here. Just uh, got to finish drilling the period. So I got those done so I can tack that together. Look at this. Look at how freaking cold it is. I'm chooching. I don't even have a cigarette. It's freaking cold in here. I need a freaking heater. Alright guys, how's it going? So I got that all in place there. It's, uh, it's tacked in now. So I'm just going to go in and uh, fill in all the welds there. So it should be all nice and solid. I don't know how good you can see that there. And I see the fuel cell is going to sit in there and it uh, bolts to that little bottom tray there I made uh, with the normal strap. So it'll be in there nice and secure. So, so it's all done now. So I'm uh, just going to get the fuel cell there and toss it in and I'll get another shot there of it all finished off. So. Alright guys, so I got that all mounted up in there. So just need to get a couple more bolts for the straps there. The two straps go uh where those two indents are there so and here's just a shot underneath you can see the sump hanging down there so it's got the two inch sump on the fuel cell yeah so once the differentials in there it should be hanging down probably about like another four or five inches below the fuel cell so the clearance is pretty good so I'll get you a little shot here of the side underneath so doesn't hang down too low, you can uh, see it when you get down underneath, but should be clear of the bumper, it just has the 2 inch sump hanging down there for the fuel line. So, Alright guys, so I got another little job done on that car, I got the fuel cell all installed now, so just pretty much uh, I have to get a piece of sheet metal there, I'm going to weld it over the floor to cover that big hole there, and uh, my dad has a bead roller, so I'm going to just roll some beads through it. Stiffens the metal up, makes it a whole lot stronger. So, get that in the next few days and uh, weld in the floor panel there, and it should be all sealed off and uh, ready to go. So, I'll talk to you guys later.